Hello there. We are back for a new game this time around. This is my comeback to my second home. My comeback from a long break. My comeback to Final Fantasy XIV. I have been playing this game for a long while but recently kind of had just a bit of a break from the game um, mainly due to like <sighs> yeah just I've been like on it for so much I just needed kind of a break and there wasn't that much interesting stuff to do like the content stuff between Endwalker and now on the way to Dawn Trail hasn't piqued my interest that much and yeah but why am I back now well um, due to one reason um uh, catching up for stuff uh in preparation for the release of dawn trail first of all because i'm definitely gonna jump into dawn trail as soon as it releases um that's one thing and why exactly now um <laughs> is that a reason the collaboration ran with final fantasy 16 and i couldn't i couldn't waste a chance to get target as a mount in this game that's really literally is it. <laughs> um, also, this is more information. This stream will be also a bit more of like still of a testing stream, even though I'm gonna be doing some stuff. Uh, just to test and see if performance wise it works fine playing this game, streaming everything, or if I run into any issues. Um, we had some issues of Grand Blue Fantasy Wheeling, and for that I, for particularly for that I just built like a rudimentary and more scuffed uh, two PC streaming setup. Um, but if I would also have to do this for F uh, Final Fantasy XIV, it would require a lot more setup, mainly due to just to the thing of like. Me having to set up Final Fantasy XIV on another uh, um, PC and adjust my HUD layout and everything. And I've already customized it so much that my I'm also using like have my menus and bars and stuff configured with macros and everything and stuff I like to use and such. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just would be the uh, as a hassle setup. And so far, as far as smoothly, I'm not seeing any like frame drops or rendering issues or anything like that. Um, and also my CPU usage and everything is looking fine. Even though I'm also like running reshade over it, <laughs> just for a bit more. Uh, cleaner and nicer visuals so <laughs> and yeah also a small thing i set up in case because i also have like uh sometimes private chats in this game and in case i don't want like people to see it or maybe if we like uh, run content where it may be interesting i'll set this up yes i also have a trans combat dragon installed I just see it and I hope it's still above my model, which it shouldn't be. And yeah. The yeah, so you also can see that it's just a DPS trigger in case we want to have it. Or in case I need to censor my chat. <laughs> I mainly did it for due to that reason, just to censor the in-game chat in case I want to check messages and such, which may not want to be seen on stream. Um, yeah, I just don't want to like get people potentially into trouble because of that or whatever, or get myself into trouble, potentially. Um, 
It's very unlikely, but still. <laughs> In terms of like, for those who want to know how far deep I'm into the game, um, quite deep, I would say. I have a lot of jobs and classes mixed, but not all. Um, before I went on to my break, I actually went ahead and tried to at least, because I like the level blade Mongo Lancer get these up a bit to at least like um, level 50 for now so I can comfortably level them the rest of the way we might do this on stream um, but it won't be my priority right now um, because I want to do the Final Fantasy 16 event just to get the total amount <laughs> definitely um and I also have a bit of story to catch up on. Um, I know like the next big uh, story boss thing would be Golbus. I'm not sure how much is already coming out of that, but I also didn't, have, didn't do the Golbus fight. I didn't do the third tier of the Pandemonium raids, for example, or also like um, the third alliance raid yet. So, this is some stuff I will have to catch up on. And hey there, Solly John. <laughs> Welcome to my chat. But him. That's in terms on. Yeah, what I need to catch up on. So, with that being said, let me actually check. I didn't uh, look before. Where's actually the event starting? Yeah, the alerts are not working again. For whatever reason. I'm using the alerts for Twitch, but Twitch is... Uh, it's not being reliable. I may, like, switch to a different alert system. Um... So, yeah. Uh, I may reload your alerts and refresh, maybe it works then. <laughs> so, I uh, actually wanted to check with the link where it is actually the FF uh, Final Fantasy 16 collaboration when start. Uh, uh, uh. I'm just on my browser reordering. Uh, because they're always nice to like link to a proper UN page where you find everything. Uh-huh. Okay, in order. There there is is where we are going. Um, I was a bit of a surprise I still have a bit of my muscle for this game, but if I like should be running dungeon and such I think this will be like a test if my muscle memory of this game still works or not. <laughs> I've been like away from this game for like uh, over 240 days, so I may be a bit rusty on stuff. Um, but hey, that happens. <laughs> Ran on fire. Oh, oh, okay, it's not voiced. And hey there, Shana. Forgive me by bonus, but you're a Tango Cagnet soon, are you not? Yes, I am. Then my search is at an end. A uh, begoggled Shanderman tasked me to find you, you see, in hopes of uh, entreating your aid with some matter he deigned not share with me. Oh, uh, I doing fine, Shana. How about you? Brave remain here, and I shall fetch him at once. Some of these rank quests are not voice, but I'm gonna read this out. <laughs> I've been hyped for the Final Fantasy 16 collaboration run for such a while, so yeah. Also, 
for those who may not know, I did do a playthrough of Final Fantasy 16 over my German channel on YouTube. And which you actually can catch up on if you want to. But I really do like uh, Final Fantasy 16, so yeah, that's why I'm so hyped for this event. Greetings, champion. This I who employed young adventurer to facilitate this impromptu audience. I forgot how um, stylized I would say the English um, <laughs> the English text is. As for the while, I have a quest that you and you alone can fulfill. Very listen well, for my late tale begins with a most unsettling dream. In it did I behold the evening sky, boundless and shimmering, as I drank deep of its beauty as by two stars sailing across the inky expanse, one of purest white and other of blushing scarlet. The course said such that they might pass without collusion. That they might pass without collusion. <laughs> Sharply and suddenly, the scarlet star shifted its trajectory. High above a burning landscape did its path intersect with that of the white star. The conjunction marked by a brilliant explosion of light. Even in slumber, I was awestruck by the spectacle. Said we did not get to see that. But what does it mean? Um, or a lovely tape, but I fail to see. But uh, yeah, a lovely tape, but I do fail to see what it has to do with me. <laughs> That's true. Mm. I do not wish to make any claims with certainty, and yet. Whatever greater meaning this vision might hold, I'm convinced that the blazing white star represents the warrior of light. In other words, you. I guess. Entrity is potent, uh, por portents, indeed, foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter the Scarlet Star, whomsoever they may be. I therefore humbly request that you accompany me to the burning land from my dreams, that I might witness the vision's denouement. I will compensate you for the trouble, of course. There's really a lot of words I'm not used to read out. So sorry if I'm like I'm messing up some pronunciation or stuff like that. I'm not like used to uh, read, uh, yeah, English script that's a bit more stylized and a bit more, let's say, old school. The question is, which territory in Oyas might be considered burning, metaphorically or otherwise? Mm. The burn will is use turn on. Which, uh, a corrupted crystal deposit. <laughs> Probably the balls of Empress Rampart day trees, not gonna lie. While its relation to flame cannot be denied, my instincts tell me nay. The scene from my dream was more rich than ball. A giant flickering outcrop of crystal mayhap, of course. Um, but I'm moving in itself, I don't know. Ah, the crest of immense crystal born of the seventh umbra calamity. I it will, it well resembles the sweeping scene from my dream. The first mystery is solved. We shall leave for Eastern Fenelan and the infam infamous burning wall at once. And that's where we will be headed. <laughs> nice. Um, the good morning, Mr. Fenelan. Uh, yeah, let's just teleport here. I was not sure what this side quest is, remembering the past. <laughs> I might check it out later. As I said, I have a bit of stuff to catch up on. Um, okay, also a bit fillingly. Mm. 
I don't have it in here. Where is it? Uh, there. Let's move you there. Of course, I got also the um, Final Fantasy 15 collaboration mount. <laughs> <laughs> and it's for you to use another collaboration um, event mount for another collaboration event. <laughs> Especially since Ricardia is looking really cool, I'm not gonna lie. The Burning Wall, an apt name indeed. It is said that the crystalline structures performed when falling shards of Dalamut pierce the land's ethereal current. Some see them as a symbol of rebirth, a, a manifestation of renewed life. But it's neither here nor there. Let's have a look around, shall we? Spyglass is at the ready. Okay. Let's see what we can find, I guess. This is borrowing it. Yep. Sorry, so it's, uh, ah, okay. I actually do need to serve it for stuff. Um okay, an unusual discovery. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm seeing anything unusual yet. Hmm. Oh! Damn! Live! Of course, part of the 16 music. I'm so happy about this. going on a dream led you to me I stand absurd at my sound we ourselves were unsure of what awaited us here as for who we are, I'm content to be known as the Minstrel. The stalwart hero is Tower Cognazona. Might we have the pleasure of your name? Clive, I, the last thing I remember was the ruins. My head, where, how did I come to be in this place? It would seem you were knocked senseless. Confusion is to be expected. For safety's sake, I suggest we make for town and have a front history physician look you over. I shall see our patient receives proper treatment. Would you mind waiting for us at Scholar's Walk? Hmm. 
so far, the stream seems to be running fine. I do have a few um, frame drops due to rendering and encoding here and there, but nothing major, which is quite nice. I really, really can hear my PC screaming next to me. <laughs> <laughs> or like the fans roaring. Our farmling is being cared for as we speak, but I'm told he should be released soon. Hopefully it was nor that of that a bite of food and a little bit rest couldn't cure. was kind of you to wait. Thank you. What of your condition? Much improved. The physica also noted no signs of injury or illness. Yet, my memories remain hazy. How did I end up here? Whatever I was doing, it was important. I'm sure of it. I must return as soon as possible. I see. We cannot leave him in his state. We must help him restore his memories and find his way home. What of the city, Clive? Do any parts of Urla strike you as familiar? Not sure if we would see any of it as familiar, to be honest. No, maybe I've simply forgotten, but I recognize nothing. Hmm, not all done, then. Still, I should like to think that the sights of sound of a well-known local will hasten your recovery. The burning wall, the place where we found you. It's situated midway betwixt Ulda and Gridania. Perhaps the trips to the dwells what is in order. Gridania, you say? The name rings no bells, but I have no better suggestion. And you would take me there? Sure. Why not? Meanwhile, I shall make the rounds of the neighboring settlements and ask if any are have uh, if any have heard of you. Let us wander in Cretania anon. This entire situation has me knocked off balance, I'm afraid. Tama, was it? I appreciate you coming to my rescue. Still, you must have your own businesses to attend to. We can set out whenever you're ready. Well, we are. Already? Then let's head out. This Kedania the mistress mentioned. Is it far? We will need mounts. By airship? You have those? Not that I don't mean to doubt you, friend. If you say we are brought in an airship, then that's what we will do. True. Gleich has never seen an airship, I think. Even though... Was one of the like hideaways actually situated within like um, an airship that was like one of those ruins, <laughs> like the ruins of the ancients? So he kind of was in one before. <laughs> Taumo, if I may ask a foolish question, do these airships of yours actually fly? 
A foolish question indeed, and if your expression tells me as much. So now I should uh, travel where you're from. So it would seem. It's odd. I know that the weapon on my back is called a sword. I don't understand what it, uh, it's for and how to wield it. Foggy as my memories may be, my general knowledge seems intact. At hearing you speak of functional airships, I've held confusion, disbelief, for something that you clearly think of as a commonplace. I can make no sense of it. Where was I before now? Uh, but dwelling on it is pointless. Forward is the only way. To feel the bracing wind, the detect shuddering beneath your feet as you rise under the sky. Memories may be faulty, but that was an experience I'm sure I'll not soon forget. So this is Credania. It seems very unlike the city we just left. Where to begin? I think it's best if I follow the lead. Clef's not coming in. Uh, okay, this is an escort mission. <laughs> um, Alright. Follow me, Clef, I guess. I'm not sure where you're supposed to go, though. It's Terran. It reminds me of somewhere I've been before. No, that's no use. I can't feel the memory, but it's like grasping at smoke. But maybe if you were to show me somewhere else. Mm, okay. A chocobo? No, that's something I recognize. Yet it's more than that. At my own chocobo ones, I'm sure of it. But as for the when or the where... Yep. You've left behind your poor Ambrosia. <laughs> well, unintentionally, but still. Impressive crystal. Not a master crystal, surely. No, not nearly notched enough. When I try to remember, the fog in my head almost seems to grow thicker. Hmm. See this nest? The boss. Oh, there. I'll read. Something that will shock his memory here, maybe? Don't oh, doubt that, actually. <laughs> this is truly a beautiful place. I've taken a liking to Gridania, then. I would have Clive there, I really like Tredania from like the cultural aspects and everything. I do like what I've seen of it. It seems a peaceful life here among the trees. Only I just can't shake the strangest feeling. If it uh, if it's too peaceful and it, as if it's too peaceful and it doesn't sit right. Patrol reporting, Commander. I was quite with the Ixar. No sightings of Garuda. For sure you profoundly grateful, at least, soldier. She is a Garuda. Yulia, this Garuda you speak of. Hmm? 
Sir, are you alright? Lieutenant Kagatsune, do you notice know gentleman? Remember you lost, you say. I'm sorry to hear that, though it seems Karuda's name has lit a spark of some sort. I wasn't in battle with Garuda. I fought her, I'm sure of it. Please, you must tell me more. Anything that might help me remember my past. Of course, Kurdano owes a debt of gratitude to anyone who stood against the destructive fiend. However, there's one more suit to the task than I. Our elder seer is well versed not only in primal lore, but also in the treatment of bodily afflictions. She's thoroughly your best hope for recovery. I will send word ahead to Stilgate Fane. Send ready to escort our guest to an audience. Understood, Commander. Pray find me at Nofikas Altar in Otgrudania, and I will see that you are granted entry to the Lotus Stand. Yeah, you might find the Garuda, but I doubt it will be like Benedicta. <laughs> it's not the same Garuda, definitely. The Lotus Stand lies just ahead. If you would follow me, please. Greetings, honored guests. No, oh, sixteen music actually also quite fitting you. Commander Ayla has apprised me of your friend's condition. This is he. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Kana Iesena, Elder Seed Seer of Kridania. I thank you for your gracious welcome. I'm Goliath, though beyond that, I fear my introduction may be lagging. Also, ignore that chat message on the stream. My bot already time out on it, it's just more advertisement. It sucks that it's not further out of like the on screen chat, but hey. Please concern yourselves not with proprieties. This is your memory loss we are here to address. I'm told Garuda's name awakened some previous recollections. Yes, in the instant I heard it, a hazy vision of better arose unbidden. I think perhaps if I could hear more of Garuda. A wish easily granted. Garuda is a deity revered by the Ixal, a people who once dwelt here in the Trials world. She appears as a winged entity, half bird, half woman, who commands the wind itself. Most frightened, however, is her capricious temper, as unpredictable as a howling storm. I should add that Tamamo has fought against Garuda in her primary incarnation. A winged woman of volatile temperament, with power over the wind. The fitting descriptions of the opponent I remember. <coughs> but a deity? No, the will behind that monster's visage was distinctly immortal. I suspect Vaz Garuda and Eorzea's Primal are not one and the same. Manius Crime himself is not of our world. Explain yourself, Minstrel. I went back to where we discovered Clive and questions fog in all the nearby settlements. Not one person recognized his description. 
Such a distinctive tattoo, escaping the notice of every local rumonger for realms around. Improbable, to say the least. That led me to consider another possibility, one consistent with past accounts I have heard of visitors from other worlds somehow stumbling through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star. As so happened with... Um, Wait. What was the main character of Final Fantasy XV called again? <laughs> I'm dropping and having to remember his name. Ah, Noctis. As, as it happened with Noctis before. My brand. It's it's the mark of a barrel. Does it pain you to remember? I feel the memory is trying to surface, but when I strain to recall, a piercing ringing fills my ears. Garuda, Vera, Ifrit. Another primate's name. It would seem to pain as a less than tangible source. Long have I studied the healing hours, yet I sense no shadows of illness in your body. Your suffering stems not from injury nor sickness. Victim of terrible events have been known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. One subconscious denies attempts to confront the awful truth, the mind creating a shield of pain to protect their heart. The barrier is of my own making. How then am I to overcome it? With our aid, of course. Fate has brought us together, and together we shall triumph over this adversity. At least it's um, out now that he's from another world, and that they are rare. So you think me from another world, and my memories of that world are not like to return unless I acknowledge some terrible truth. A truth my mind refuses to remember. This is a confounding dilemma, I agree, and I have given thought to a solution. I believe that the shackles which bind your mind may yet be struck off in the heat of battle. A drastic measure, perhaps, especially when not at your best. Which is why I turn to you, Tomo. You are the twin to Clive, Wandering Star. Your involvement is no accident. The path I see is thick with horns, but if you have the will to walk it, then crit yourself for war and await me at Akalu Falls. All right. Hmm, you're getting a gift from this. All right. The minstrel has a plan, it seems, but he shares little beyond confusing metaphor. Still, I'm willing to indulge him if it means making progress. Where to meet in a couple of holes, right? And where is that to be found? Good. Not far then. Let's go on with it. <coughs> okay, just right over there. I was already noticed you can like get um, the Final Fantasy 16 themes for the Orchestrion, which is pretty nice. Because actually, like, <laughs> already someone put it on the Orchestrion in like the house of my uh, in my good house. <laughs> This place, why here? Because this waterfall is where the legendary Archon Lusua gathered a band of adventurers in the name of the Seventh of the Calamity. The purpose 
to extinguish the infernal Ifrit. Ifrit? Hmm. I know this is... I know something is there. I just... Why can't I remember? Clive recalled several worlds in the Elder CTS presence. Words which brought him pain. While the significance of Barrow eludes me, you and I are more full than familiar with Ifrit. Considering your reaction to the mere mention of the name, this is like that a primal, or its equivalent in your world, is deeply connected to your condition. Thus have I resolved to weave my lyrical magics and bring you face to face with the Ifrit of our world. Your rare archons were paved an etheric path to the primal slayer, will my words be given substance? And within the vision which takes form, will you do battle with the phantom of your mind's creation? Imaginary though is confrontation maybe, I fear your suffering will be all too real. Yet you must persevere, for your hidden truth will not be unearthed without hardship. Take heart, Scarlet Star, and call upon the strength of your shining twin. Your past awaits. It sounds like it literally sounds like uh, the situation he went through in like uh, the ruins beneath Phoenix Gate. I like suggesting that this is the time frame where he like got thrown out of his world because he mentioned ruins, and he does have um, the clothes of his father on already. So this means he at least already is in that time frame where they went to Phoenix Gate. And hey there, thanks for the follow, Mr. T, and the alerts still are not going off. Thank you for nothing, Twitch. Where is he sent us? We stand in the bow of Embrus, the site where the Amalja summoned their patron deity, in the stage upon which the warrior of light became a slayer of gods. This but convincing illusion, the body of recounted Tay given breath of fanciful words. Come forth, Lord of the Inferno. And also welcome in chat, Mr. Okay, it's a not the Final Fantasy XVI version of Ifrit. Sad. An accurate facsimile, yet not quite the Ifrit you know. No, not quite the same. This is the Ifrit he knows. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks a lot cooler than FS14 E3 is to be honest. Time to uncover the truth. All right, time to find out who I am. I was sad, I would have expected a different battle theme, which is a lot cooler from FF16, but okay. Ifrit. Be 
That's the thing which killed Joshua. Yes, I've been on his trail, seeking vengeance for my brother. Okay, this is definitely the time frame where he's like beneath the ruins at Phoenix Gate. I think. This scene must pay. Fight with me, Tamamo. During this battle, you will gain access to special duty actions. It's followers. Rising flames, okay. Charge it for inflict high damage, of course. Over time, you can also dodge, sure. Uh, certainly, attacks will be preceded by the counter light again. Okay. Precision strike. Okay, those are like mechanics of uh, Final Fantasy XVI's combat. I'm a caster though. This would feel a bit like some move if I would actually uh, um, use um, a mini class for this. Simple adaptation of Clive's combat mechanics, I guess. have like to worry about damage at this rate. Of course Clyde gets captured. Of course, they have the QTE style.
I feel like we're really uh, like combat fear wise and like virtual wise. Going in with a really class for this, but I feel like it'd be a lot cooler. <laughs> People just randomly sneaking into my room. I mean, oh, whoa, I actually got hit by something. <laughs> Okay, I get hit because of like my cast animation. All right. I think I don't have any V spells away by this level yet for like damaging. The only thing that kind of sucks, I don't have like my uh, 1190 combat kit. I don't know, the fight is actually taking quite a while. But he should be finally down. Sweet. Maybe I can refire this with like uh, um, a samurai or something. <laughs> that would be cool. I fear that by accepting it, I will lose the little boss left of me. But I accept the truth for now. 
You're not Ifrit. I am. This is literally the repeat of the scene the below Phoenix Gate. <laughs> So I guess Toy Boy also Final Fantasy 16. The city you see them plays out in there as well. In the battle against your own mind, would seem you have emerged a victor. Intriguing. Toggle! <laughs> Yay! One of the best animal companions you can have in an RPG. The only one who can really, really compete is uh, Repeat from Tales of Vesteria. Due to this unraveled, yet you have brought a fun pack with you. This is Togo, a wolf pup raised in the duchy. There's no more loyal ally in battle and no keener guide when the road ahead is uncertain. Aww. Ah, that will explain the aberration in the lingering Ebra. Talk is here to lead you back to your own world. Kathas has embraced his harrowing past and in doing so reclaimed the memories he lost. Though not a conscious act, he has manifested his readiness to return home in the form of a trusted companion. Even so, it was difficult to accept what I had done. My younger brother, Yoshua, was a kind and gifted soul. The inheritor of the Phoenix's flame. He was destined to become Archduke, as our father had before him. But Yoshua was murdered, his bright future cut short. From that day onwards, I lived for one purpose alone. A dominant of fire had slain my brother and I would have my revenge. I spent years tracking the killer, until one day I came to understand it had been me all along. I was young and destroyed when I first summoned freed. I hadn't known such a power looked within me, or that I could even exist at all. The transformation was instinctive, uncontrolled, and it was by my hand that Joshua died. I can't but mention the anguish this caused you. There was anguish, yes, and the guilt I will never escape, but I cannot let it stop me. I was born the vessel of Ifit's power, and I need to know why. It was in search for an of answers that I went to Phoenix Gate, and delved into the ruins below. There I found the courage to face my past and accept the truth, and everything faded to black. Hmm, your tale suggests that something in the ruins, some mysterious force, was responsible for your inadvertent journey. And if you arrived in Erosia from a place sacred to the phoenix and its flames, then it stands to reason. Yes, what are you thinking? I'm thinking... 
that to see your home, then we must return to the beginning. Our road takes us back to the burning wall. Once there, your furry comrade will let us exactly where we need to go. I want him as my own. Give him. Give me. <laughs> I want the toggle mount so much. Mm. Okay, back to the burning wall. It is. Just a short flight away, I guess. Also, I'm just gonna quickly check the messages I got, I guess. Okay, nothing interesting. You've come this far, now we'll talk about we are guide. Such was the purpose of his creation, after all. Ready, Toko? Take me home. Okay, bark, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Once you choose to depart, Clive and the Wandering Mister will accompany you. Torgo will then begin leading you onwards. Follow Torgo to his destination and try not to fall behind. Okay. Easy one shot the enemies here. <laughs> Where's he going? I'm guessing over here. Hey, okay, there's other players over there, so yeah, I'm guessing this is a uh, goal. This is it, boy. The tail and see where it began. You first found me. Indeed. I was baffled as to why this of all places would serve as a junction between our two worlds, but now I think I understand. You do? Some years ago, I was visited by the cataclysm disaster known as the Seventh Umbral Calamity. That even as fire and ruin threatened all we had here, the world underwent a mystical renewal. It was as if the star was reborn. That's literally, by the way, uh, the seventh Emperor Calamity is already the event that closed off um, Final Fantasy XIV in version one point, uh, version one, and brought the switch over to two point for Realm Reborn. <laughs> Murphy attributes the miracle to a benevolent en uh, entity, claiming that the undying phoenix flared into the being to save us in our hour of direst need. The phoenix? Did 
The burning wall itself is a scar left by those events. It's a crystal which having erupted from the earth overnight. Some believe those, these monoliths of solidified flame to be proof of the phoenix deliverance. The bond of your brother, the phoenix of your will, may have been the connection which brought you to the sacred place in ours. Drawn to the flame. It seems our time together is at an end. Thank you both for all you've done. Resonant friend, no matter how daunting the hardship, how oh, bitter the truth. Our race, no matter what fates await, a journey's end. Count Orwell, we have answers to seek, and Valistea awaits. And then he was gone. I fear the string, uh, stirrings of a ballad. But no, that would be the hubris to imagine I could capture Clive's story from so fleeing an excerpt. Fleeting an excerpt. The honor belongs to someone else, someone privileged to see his tale to its conclusion. Sadly, the power to peer into other worlds was not granted me by this day's miracles. I wonder, however, if you might manage it, Tamamo. That's a sweet little fourth war break. <laughs> And actually quite a sweet little event story in general, even though it was quite short. Our little adventure is over, set in motion as it was a dream most cryptic. I must thank you for indulging my sudden and strange request. As for your promised reward, I hope this is sufficient. Torge proved such a trust of guy that I thought to bind his likeness to a summoning whistle. May his loyal spirit serve you well on your travels until we meet again. Oh, we also get a total minion. A minion attire? Oh. You can now exchange MGP for special items by speaking of the gold. Uh, if we check the gold also in a bit. Yeah, it's Clive's outfit. All right. Um. First of all, my guide, where's the toggle mount? Toggle, toggle. There it is. Very words, thank you very much. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put him in here as well. Mm -hmm. 
Yay, I have enough toggle. <laughs> now I'm heavy. <laughs> uh, and you can fly. That's so cool. Good. Wait, this? We do have to be in crown standing. Ah! Can you pet the dog? Yes, you can. <laughs> Sweet. I love this. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's very really cute. I already like petting Trogger in Final Fantasy 16, so you know, I can pet him here too. All the more pets for Trogger. <laughs> He's a good boy, he deserved those. Hmm. I'll just actually go to the innkeeper for a moment, just so I can put Clive's uh, out into the clamor dresser. Um. There you go. Just so they don't like waste inventory slots. <laughs> Let's actually like check the golds also for like the worlds which I can get there. It's probably the Ocasian worlds. I'm wondering how expensive they will be. I haven't checked all these stores and rides, I'm not sure where maybe. Uh, you maybe? Are all of these two cousin worlds? Wait. I'll just uh, double check the event page. Um, okay, we can get a card. Ah, okay. That's all of the bottom ones. Mm. Are the Castillo okay, World's time game um, also timely limited or then lockable for like whenever like to? That's what I'm wondering now. Because I actually would like to get like all of them. It also should be a triple tried card of Clive now. Hmm. Oh. I guess we can buy two for now. If I do the uh, mini character pot and get. Good luck.
Sad. I'm not lucky on him on like the character pod stuff. Yep. I guess we uh, know what like where we spend all the MGP I'm getting next. How many cards does that actually? All right. Good. So actually, wanna check. What am I gonna do next? Hmm. Actually, I feel like the best thing to do to like catch up on first would be the main story, because I'm not sure what other stuff it may unlock. So. Just give me the words that I'm. The only thing that might like be a bit like, I guess, bad for it also like never played the final in the story or such. Um, yeah, <laughs> you will barely know any context of what's going on. But hey. Okay, but before we jump into the main story and continue that, I'll do a short buffer break, so see you in a minute. And we're back. And Let's do some story. Seeking the light. Also, uh, this time around, I won't have to read so much. <laughs> <laughs> At least the story is voiced. Thank you, child. Ah, Tom, I spoke about to call with you. There have been developments concerning the void gear that were discussed with everyone. Presently, I'm told Ish Tola will be returning shortly. I dare to hope she has made some progress in devising a way to harness the first light. Come, let's wait the others in my chamber. At least I thought it would be voiced, but so far it's not voiced. My apologies for the delay. Think nothing of it. I prayed out I'd come with glad tidings. The findings were worth many sleepless nights, I'm pleased to report. You may leave it here, thank you. Here, although I am to hear the details, I must first share tidings of my own. Grave ones. Rianche had sent word from the White Guard in Ma Lamentorum. The situation is precarious. They continue to rely upon the brands to contain the forces which would, would otherwise flow freely into the source. Yet, though these measures were sufficient to imprison a fragment of Zodiac for eons against our enemy's determined onslaught, they are degrading at an unsettling rate. The operates are sparing no efforts to sustain brands, but it's only a matter of time ere they fall.
Unless we act soon. There shall be no stopping Galbers from realizing his ambition. The serum of short sword has the seal even when not at full strength. <clears throat> this is every bit as terrible as we feared. We must need Spankish it, to which end we require means to pierce its dark shroud. So, did you find it? A way to bring resplendent light to bear against our foe? As a matter of fact, I have. The theory or symbol, he harnessed life from the first and channeled it to the thirteen. Uh, theory is symbol, I guess, but how are we supposed to do that? Such a feat would require us to manipulate vast amount of energy, to say the least. And so, I cut all its it and his fellows, who rose to the challenge and produced bespoke devices of ether to insimilus. These marvelous contraptions can be placed at a location of our choosing to facilitate the flow of ether. In other words, we can use them to create ethereal currents. That such a thing would be possible. We shall first direct Ivor from Nabav Areng, where the flood of light was halted into the Crystal Tower. We all know from personal experience the wonders of which it is capable, wonders which suit our needs perfectly. I should mention that the structure in the Asim Step, which the Alliance built to redirect Ivor, was also a source of inspiration. Interesting. Once we have infused the crystal tower with sufficient evil, we shall send it into the rift. And the evil transmitter shall guide the energy onto the 13th Luxor. In this way, we shall have a lens of light with which to pierce the shield of darkness. Also, I hope. No tests we performed were close to the scale of what we ultimately seek to achieve. I cannot guarantee success. With such great minds on our side, how could we possibly fail? Indeed, we harness the wisdoms of the wisdom of the past, present and future to further this course. I too have faith that will that it will be enough in the end. Since the uh, uh, science and theory aside, we need to place one or more of these transmitters in the first, I take it. A task we must entrust to you, Tamo. 
Rest assured, I will provide you with what support I can. I wish to go as well. This world that you brought back from the brink, I will see it with my own eyes. But how does thou intend to make the journey? In the spirit vessel. That's how I endure as manage it, yes? Whitehead summoning also sees the soul separated from flesh. The separation I can do at will. The principles are similar enough. If you aren't averse to turning for company, I should be glad to lend Zero my vessel. Then it's added, I shall finish preparing the transmitters and then help Zero transfer the soul. Praise you to your own preparations and then let us reconvene at the Mag Magaluda. Okay, yeah, this was the Reaper. I was wondering for a moment, why is a ball in there, but yeah. Reaper skill. If Tola will be long after she has seen to see her soul, let us await her here. Apologies for the wait. Everything went smoothly. The Zero Soul is now safely within the Spirit Vessel. And it was just good. Thanks for the follow. I shall have the Alchemist attend her body until she returns. The vessel I place in your care, along with the transmitters and a set of garments for Zero. I've also included instructions on how to operate the Crystal Tower, courtesy of Krat here. Of course. Girl, good help for this. By your way, I will join OYNG and the Loperates on the moon. They will need help should the brands fall. A fine idea. For my part, I should continue to uh, coordinate our efforts while I recover from my wounds. Give the task at hand, I suggest you speak with Reen. With her power over light, she is bound to be helpful in our efforts. But ere you do that, or else, seek out Begluk as the first, foremost authority on Soulcraft, they should be able to grant zero corporeal form. As I recall, the old Numu was rather fond of the Cabinet of Curiosity, so that should be your first uh, stop. That's all from me. Go forth, Warrior of Darkness, and make your triumphant return to the first. I like it how they like keep uh, bringing the first back. And thank you. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> that was a welcome from chat. Um, yep, yeah, come on. Just immediately teleport.
Let's go give zero a form, so she can't like foliage travel to the first. I'm guessing we go up here or the one further. One further, it looks like. Is it you, Tamamo? What brings her back across the rift? Honestly, first you asked me to extract another soul from a spirit vessel, and then you tell me you have designed to you have designs to channel light to the void. Wicked white, Tamamo. Is nothing ever simple with you? Nah. <laughs> <sighs> I suppose some people can't help but find themselves at the center of world-changing events. Very well. If your home is in peril, then I shall do all in my power to aid you. And if it helps Uno Kahai with its work, all the better. While I tend to your companion, you should go and speak with Reen. By all accounts, she practically le lives at the uh, lives at the hall. Autorium these days. I will look for you there yeah, once I've finished. The Autorium was... Over there. Okay. Or, uh, there she is. How do we in a long time no see? Restoring the elements to the empty may allow life to flourish there once more. Finally, I'm more acting. <laughs> isn't enough to return the environment to the way it was. No, we need to gradually reintroduce life, beginning with plants. Not just any plants, though, but those that won't be a burden on a weakened land. You have taken an interest in gardening. <laughs> oh, what a welcome surprise! It seems you caught me rambling to myself. How embarrassing! I've been studying botany, you see, hoping that the knowledge would help our work in the empty. But never mind that for now. What brings you to the Crystarium? It was my understanding that the final days were behind us. That they are, but we have like a new troublemaker at our doorstep, I guess. <clears throat> You wish to combat this otherworldly threat with the power of light? Please, let me help. Though I've lost my connection to Hydaelyn, I can still manipulate light to a degree. If there is a chance I could save others with that power, then I have to try. Is done. 
Zero is now with us in the flesh. Sweet. For the spirit vessel I shall hold on to for operating the tower. This will help me to make sense of the controls, will it? Hopefully. There's a levity in his words that wasn't there before. It heartens me to know he is well. Aha, <laughs> no, 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 sweet. I shall see to the preparations as per his instructions. My thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. That said, it is customary that my kind receive fitting payment for services rendered. Oh, was wir jetzt von uns haben? Not unlike we void sent then. In that case, you may devour some of my ether. Um, that's not how things work here, Zero. Are you mad? I'll do no such thing. The very suggestion is absurd. Now, now, let's calm down. We all have our preferences, and I'm sure no offense was intended. <laughs> Interesting way of phrasing it with preferences, but okay. I shall attend to the tower now. The rest, I leave to you. Zero, was it? My name is Reen. It's a pleasure to meet you. This world isn't what I expected. While light is indeed strong here, it's not pervasive or overwhelming. Everything looks much as it does in the source. Well, at least for this area it does. We have the Warrior of Darkness to thank for that. If you're interested, I would be glad to show you around. I really like this theme. Then Walker theme is so nice. Yeah, uh, not and Walker Shadowbringer's theme. I think this was. Just an ordinary sky. Ordinary and beautiful. To think that after so much loss, they could reclaim this. There's a chapter title, I guess. <laughs> ah, the theme could have run longer. <laughs> We've had something of the deeds here, of how the warrior of darkness fought on, despite light reaching the very being. Had I deserved the same strength of spirit, perhaps I could have done more for my world. No, there's no way yet. The 13th isn't beyond saving. That's why we are here. So we're two. Just lead the way. Mm. Whatever. I probably sell the food anyway.
Let's head for an above a ring. Since Siri can't teleport to the ether right there, we should probably travel by Amaro. Ah, there you are. Thank goodness I'm not too late. Lina, I take it back. Luke told you why she's here. More or less. Greetings and welcome. I'm Lina, captain of the guard here at the Crystarium. Zero, is there something you require? When I learned of your plan to give a light at the Crystal Tower, I felt compelled to warn you of the potential repercussions. I know well that you would never use the tower for ill, not without due caution. Even so... I believe I understand. As since the flood, light has been a source of pain and misery. Some fear it's still not up. Which is to say, that some would be uncomf uncomfortable at the sight of it weirded as we intend. That is your concern, is it not? Precisely. It was light that nearly consumed our world. To use the crystal tower to harness this destructive force risks turning the tower into an object of fear. You may convince the Crystarium of the necessity of your course, but it will not be so easy to win over those outside our walls. I worry this will undermine the fragile trust that we have only begun to build with some communities. They may misunderstand your intentions. Tell me who they are and what misunderstandings they may have. I shall allay their concerns. Tamo and I will go with her. People know us. Our presence will put them at ease. Thank you. I realize this will delay the execution of your plans, but I see no other way. As for where to begin, I dare say humor would be as good as a blaze as any. Though ours is an amicable relationship now, we were at odds for long years. Humor was once ruled by a tyrant who wielded the power of light. Though he promised salvation, in truth he made slaves of the subjects and sought to destroy any who defied him. He is gone now, thankfully, and a good man named Chainas was elected mayor. Relations between our cities have improved much since then. Even so, there's a lingering rivalry between us. If the Chris Time were to harness light without warning, some Umorians might suspect we have ulterior motives. Thus, would it be prudent to give them prior notice? If you explain that you seek to save the Warrior of Darkness' home, though, I should hope that they would give you their blessing. Once again, Yours is a name that commands respect and trust in the domain of your former enemies, as does it in Gallimore. Well, should we visit? After you more, I would search would address the Raktika Great Woods. They will find the Night Blessed, a small collective which worship darkness, as well as the Wees, guardians of the secret of ancient Ronka. The Wees are insular and will likely not object unless the light encroaches upon the territory. The Knights Blessed, on the other hand, would greatly benefit, benefit from your assurance that your actions will not adversely affect their lives. The people worship darkness, fitting for a world all but consumed by light. Very well, we will tweet, chat with the people of Humor and the Knights Blessed. Here, take these whisper reeds. I will let you know when all is in readiness with the tower. Right then, I shall attend to my own task. 
explaining the situation to the people of the Crystarium and uh, arranging for your transmitters to be placed here in the buffer ring. It's uh, truly grateful. Thank you, Lena. Of course, you're made to read red old paths again and talk with people. <laughs> Just like this game likes to do. Come on, let's head to you, more. Hopefully, Chain and us will know how best to present our plan to everyone. Of course, we still can it to go, even though they said we should go by Mamaro with <laughs> zero, but hey. I don't care, we just go anyway. <laughs> I didn't want to speak with you. Good gods, if it isn't time anymore. To what do we owe the pleasure? Not another world ending threat, surely not. Surely not. Um, there's a sensitive matter about which we forward the best to consult of the city's esteemed mayor. I don't I'd ever describe myself as such, but anyway, I can tell you're up to something. The kind of something I might want nothing to do with, but regardless, I should probably know. What is it? Telling people about the void's end. Repeatedly. Giving light with the crystal tower, you say? I would be lying if I said that doesn't bring back unpleasant memories. And I believe I speak for um, most Umorians. You can hardly blame you. I have no reason to question your motives, of course. Neither yours nor those of the Crystarium's Chris leadership. A world engulfed in darkness. Its corrupted inhabitants attempting to invade your own. It's worth a lot to process, but a desire to save one's home is something anyone can understand. I'm touched that you show such concerns for our feelings despite the gravity of your plight. Very well, you have my support. As if there was ever any doubt, right? Let's go to the people at once, and an explanation from you ought to ensure everyone understands. N not so fast, Iris. If we were to reveal everything at this juncture, many would be deeply unsettled, regardless of any assurance I offered. Well, we need to first set the stage. Spread word of the warrior of darkness's blight that she is on a mission to save her world, as she once said ours. Once her tale is common knowledge, I shall call an assembly to explain the need to harness the power of light to a populace far more amenable to the idea. He smiled. To the end, uh, to that end, might I trouble you to speak for our citizens about your predicament? It would be more effective to hear the details from the hero herself. More likely to inspire solidarity for your cause. So we appear to the desire to aid the warrior of darkness to represent light in a more positive light. Well bright, Master Tried. <laughs> if it is best that you do the talking, then we'll come with you. Fine by me, I'm content to observe. Once you've finished your rounds, I'll set you report to me. I should like to know how the people react. Lead the way, Tamamo, we'll be right behind you. From the conversation alone, I could see how much the people here trust you. 
Thanks to Julius and Fangrill, I've grown better at recognizing it. What? You've met Fangrill too? I mean, all right, of course you have. I don't know why I said that. Why, right, let's find some citizens to speak with. I suggest we start here in, in the canopy before heading down to the understory and then the Terrorlex. Is it rain? Yeah, okay. More escorts. I used to live for the moment, not caring what might happen to tomorrow, but now that we have peace, I find myself thinking about the future and feeling anxious. What? You're almost threatened with destruction? Wicked White, why are you wasting time in a drinking hall? <sighs> but as I say it, I feel the strings of hypocrisy. Guards, I need to take control of my life. I need to face my troubles head on, and the same goes for you. Okay, at least I'll just quick. Also, a nice show going on, I guess. <laughs> mm. Okay, where is. Oh, okay, under story. Well now, the Warrior of Darkness, uh, Darkness and the Oracle of Light both. How may I be of service? You need this blood to invade your world? Having got tales of Sin Eaters, Revenge Encounters, Villages, your blight feels all too familiar. Come on, May, I urge you to remain strong. You became the Light Wardens. You can overcome any adversity. And for that it's worth, I'm sure everyone here would be willing to help in whatever way we can. Hopefully you do. Mm -hmm. oh, what is just to be lower again? I haven't been around the area for a while. This is like an escort mission, actually, I'd like to use the proper path. I just have to go down here. Really getting like challenged on like my uh, muscle memory and in general memory of this game. <laughs> but hey, it happens. You're the warrior of darkness. I never dreamed that he have the honor. But why are you in humor, if I may ask? You're always in danger and you've come seeking help? If there's anything we can do for you, you need only ask. 
Things could be better here, of course, and we've got a long road ahead of us. But it wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and yours. We never forget it. Yeah. Now I have to go back up again. Actually, where's my dancer? There it is. Move my speed. Just makes like running around easier and less tedious. <laughs> Also, I see I haven't like used my old dancer in a while since like a drop gauge is still right up there. Let me fix that real quick. So the people are of one mind and desire to help. Good, good. While just earlier I opened a conversation about how the warrior of darkness is seeking to uh, seek to save their home. The tale is spreading quickly. Then the plan was un has unfolded precisely as you envisioned. All that remains then is to assemble the citizens and explain Thomas' needs to give a light. For better or worse, I'm mayor of the city. I'll do my best to win them over. Wait, aren't you? Guess you're her, the young lady who saved me from war free. I needed enough more to find her control, but you cured me. I wouldn't be alive today if not for you. Oh, I remember you too. I'm glad to see you doing well. I learned later that it was the Oracle Light herself who saved me. It saved all of us. I didn't know if I'd ever get a chance to express my gratitude. I'm sure it was nothing for someone with your power, but thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. What is this more? Food made from lime tainted flesh of sin eaters, you say? I see, the more they ate, the more the lights corruption spread. Right, and because of that, they became susceptible to Warfi's commands, as he couldn't make the sin eaters do his bidding. Thankfully, I was able to suppress the light's influence and free everyone from this control. And there seems to be no lingering effects. You say it as if it is were some small feat. I have seen countless souls corrupted by darkness. Someone with the power to hear them would be regarded as a great figure. And never know peace. My gift has it been a burden? Uh, my gift has been a burden. Many have suffered for it, died for it. There were times when I wished I didn't have it. When I wanted to run away from everyone and everything. But I had friends to encourage and guide me. To help me learn not just to embrace my gift, but to take charge of my life. To change my fate. And so you did just that. The people of this world are resilient indeed. Ah. 
can't finish it because I did a quest as a mage. Did a half voice sound like me managed to escape the flood of darkness? For all these years, I never stopped to wonder why. To wonder if I had a greater part to play. Well, perhaps it's time I took charge and considered that I might be able to do for others. The answer is here in the first, and I will find it. Mm -hmm. If you have no further business here, let's move on. Where to next? The Silver Bow, the home of the Knights Blessed in the Raktika Greatwood. We explain the situation to their leader, Runa. The Furio got rejected by Ishtala. <laughs> Taomo, your sight of four sore eyes, my friend. We'll be staying long in Silver Bow. Though, having said that, I suspect this isn't just a social call. A great plan is in motion, and a nice place deserve to know. Hmm, when you put it that way, very well. On behalf of my people, I would hear what you have to say. What? Your world? Master Matoya's world? Is in grave danger? Master Matoya. Ishtola. She took another name in accordance with custom when she lived among the Knights Blessed. They believed light tainted everything that it touches, even their true names. Out of respect, don't speak her here. You're zero, yes? The one come from a world consumed by darkness. I struggle to conceive of such a place. A pitch black pall shrouds the darkness, which neither the light of the sun nor the stars can pierce. It is the opposite of what you once knew here in Northrend. That being the case, I'm sure you can relate to our situation. All too well, you have my deepest sympathies. And in order to beat back the darkness in your world, you would harness light from ours. This is a simple yet brilliant idea. Only Master Matoya could have conceived of such. That Northrend is still in her thoughts. That we are still. So you're not opposed to our plan? We nice blessed may place our faith in the dark, but we have never sought to force our release upon others. If your deliverance lies in light, then by all means, away yourself of it. I'm surprised. From what I was told of your people, I certain you would disapprove of our methods. Do not mistake our ruins for darkness as a desire for it to be to be ascendant. But in darkness there's a peace that we seek to make our own though through prayer and self reflection. And while light may have wrought suffering in our world, anything excess can be harmful, even darkness, as you and yours know all too well. It's a real of who is righteous or evil, not a weapon. If you would be a light for a noble cause, then who are we to deny it? An easy thing for me to say now that night has been restored to our world, perhaps, nevertheless. I wish you the best in your, in your fight, Zero. May light shine your way in the darkness. Now then, 
to mark this joyous occasion, I must offer you a proper welcome to Slitherbow. You might find it interesting, Zero. If you say so. Right, let us begin with the customary greeting. Tao, I trust you remember how to announce yourself as a friend of the blessed. Thanks that it don't make me choose a dialogue for it. With the chat mode in say, enter Arena 2 chat to our magician recruiting. Is capitalization important? Nope. Friends old and you, I bid you welcome to Slimmerbow. Alintuta, what does it mean? In the language of Ranka, it uh, is one of several ways one might say good evening. This greeting allows us to quickly discern friend from foe. A simple expression, but in a world bereft of night, the words held help, help deep meaning. They were a reminder of the world as it was, when the sun and the moon and the stars had danced across the sky, and we wished one another well as the day gave way to night. A communal tradition, so the world served to bind us. Indeed, we are no longer strangers, you and I. Next we shall have you cleansed of lights and purities. Present yourself to Dalvith in yonder room. We will be glad to assist you. Uh, okay, right over there. Okay. There you are. Your friend has just been cleansed. How do you feel? Wet, but otherwise, no different. <laughs> I should have been surprised to said otherwise, even though it is customary to cleanse ourselves of light with water blessed by our priests. But you have darkness again, do you not? Why well, continue the custom? Why, well, for the same reason that it was conceived, to pray for the safety of friends and visitors alike, as we pray for yours this morn. Safe travels, friend, and may blessed shadows keep you. Right, if that's all, let's return to Runa and see if there's any other customs I must observe. Come on, Tomo. There's so much unwise dialogue. Sadly. I would wish for more worst ones. <laughs> also, actually, let me grab something to drink real quick. I actually hear something right in my room. <laughs> also, I have undertaken to try, and while I can explain it, I feel more confident than I did before. Just a touch. I'm glad to hear it. With the worry of darkness at your side, I have no doubt that you will save your two worlds. If you can defeat Zeromos, then I, the source, would be safe. But nothing would change from my own world. There would just be one less void sand to struggle at our scraps with the rest. Is it so? 
Forgive me, I spoke out of turn. It's fine. I was under no illusion. I wish it were different, of course. Tower, can you hear me? Have you met with the people of Yuma and Tactica? Excellent. Then we may proceed to the next phase of the plan without worry. Baglucas informed me that the tower is ready, so make for another ring at your leisure. I've arranged for you to rendezvous with Kazar on route as well. Not only can he take you to the side of the flood, but he will also know where best to place the transmitters, given his familiarity with the route between the Quistarium and Amarang. You've been trying on business shortly, so I've asked him to wait for you there. It's all coming together. To trying then. Okay. Double leg, I guess, easier. The timing couldn't be better, Tamamo. I've just finished up my business here. Lina has told me all. It would be my pleasure to take you to another ring. As soon as the other help has arrived, that is. There's supposed to be along any moment now. Tamamo, it really is you. We understand you're faced with quite a predicament, and when an esteemed customer is in need, the merchants of Bogsuk are eager to provide. The captain bade us assist you, miss, to ensure that light is delivered to the Crustarium. Members of our guard will place transmitters in Lakeland, and the good people of Bogsuk will do likewise in the hills of Amber. We need but focus on uh, your own task in above a rank. Yet more people clamoring to help you. It would almost be more surprising if they hadn't shown up. Everyone is ready, then let's get to work. Wait! More people to help. You heading to Martha Ring and didn't think to call on us? Well, most of our tellers are still in the story stage. We've spared no effort in maintaining their trolling. We've even upgraded it. As a matter of fact, it's faster than ever and can deliver you to the map ring in no time at all. After everything you've done for us, we can't just stand idly by. Thank you, it would never let us hear the end of it. Thank you. Thank you all so much. So you're uh, watching how they are hyping each other up, I guess. And then we bring friendly with one another. And as I say, we have ample help. Come, let's go and acquire our light. I knew he was acting again. 
I don't remember much of the time when darkness consumed the 13th. Just the cold and the emptiness. Zero? Are you all right? I... I'm fine. You're the one who stopped this. Oh, no, no. That was the first Oracle of Light, Minthilia. She's since left us, but I inherited her power and legacy. I see. Let's get started then, shall we? Let's see how much black black power we actually can can get through this. Okay, we're seeing our small design, how much power we probably will need. The other transmitters are set. Whenever you're ready. What I'm wondering, how many transmitters do we have like to set for this to like reach all the way to the Crystario? <laughs> do we have any countermeasures in case one of the monsters like randomly just kicks one over or something like that? <laughs> it's almost too much for one steeped in darkness like me. Whatever may have happened in the past, you're still here, Zero. Alive. What you couldn't do yesterday, you might still do today. If this power were mine to wield... Sieht nach einer dummen Idee aus, aber gut. struggles to contain it. She needs help. That was like short tempered with like zero to do. But okay. Better now, I think. Then you're very, very lucky. Whatever possessed you to do that? I had to know if I could command the light. If I could change my fate. 
Once, I would never have dared to dream it. But your friendship and your trust has helped me to see new possibilities in myself and everything else. Perhaps that's why, when I beheld this world once damned yet saved, I saw the potential for mine to be saved as well. To become a world where light and darkness are in harmony, and life flourishes. A world where we're not consumed by insatiable hunger, but filled with hope for what we might create together. If I had the strength, perhaps I could make such a dream reality. Perhaps I could awaken us from this endless nightmare. That's what possessed me. If that's your heartfelt desire, then you mustn't be afraid to share it. There was a time when I lacked the courage. To voice my desires was to burden those I love. Or so I convinced myself. But then I met those who believed in me. They helped me to believe in myself. And find the strength to live. And so long as I'm alive, I know that I'll be fine. No matter how dire things seem, no matter where I am, to be able to think that brought me peace. And it's a blessing I owe entirely to my friends. Aww. Those who believe in us. I will remember your words. I know all too well that there's a limit to what we can achieve alone. I like zeros. Zeros are cool. <laughs> As a friend, I'd like to help you fulfill your dream. If you wish to take in more light, I can keep the power in check and help your body accept it. If anyone can do it, it would be Reen. So it would seem. Right then. I'm counting on you. I wonder what this will actually resort in for Zero. Here I go. warmth welling within me then I believe it worked with this power I will return to the void and fight for the world that once was and for those I hold dear and we will help you of course Uh, I wanted to see if like the transmitter is actually like visible on feed at better lead, but probably they're just like there for the cutscene. Sure improvement. Hmm, I'll check that later. We've done our part, and I trust that the others will see the light to our destination. It's time to return to the source. I should see our back look and have them return my soul to the spirit vessel. Also, I will check my chat in a bit again.
Um, why is that not working? Okay. Then not. I suppose this is it. I don't know if we had any other preparations to attend to or people to visit, but we'll go and add to the ocular. Um, if you can just. Mm -hmm. Let's just do it like this. No, this is fine. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Let's just rub one over there real quick, I guess. I'm not sure of teleporting from like this little distance. Please take me to the Crystal Tower. Thank you very much. This room looks, always looks really cool. Tau stands ready to send light into the rift, and Sierra's soul is secure in her vessel once more. Her helpers across the realm also send a word that the transmitters are in place. When status have been set on the moon of Sierra's world, we should have the foundation of our ethereal current. To make matters easier, the transmitters broadcast a powerful signal that can be detected by the tower even across the rift. Upon confirming that the void ones are active, we will send forth the light. This will be up to you. We will be praying for your success. Now go, make haste back to the source and save your worlds. Of course, they also readily can just communicate over the, like, uh, the void, oh, but yeah, okay. Otherwise, how do they want to transmit stuff anyway? I think we're back in the source. Also, it should actually like. Mm, I can do the. I should teleport there directly. Mm, 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 mm. There it is. Tower, thank heaven you've returned. The Lopperist report that the brands are on the verge of failing. We have no time to spare. I shall restore Siri to her body at once. Ah, that's better. I was worried that the soul transfer process might affect the light absorb, but it feels as potent as before. The radiance of your soul was impossibly blinding. I don't know how you would have managed with Aurene's help. Aurene helped me to contain the light. It was you, all of you, who gave me the courage to even make the attempt. Your friendship, your acceptance. That includes the people of the first. The Knights Blessed, in particular, showed me great kindness, as did Runa, whose only regret seemed to be that you could not join us. 
<laughs> I regret we share. Also, re this reunion long overdue. If all is in readiness, then I will assume my tracking form and fly to the moon. In the meantime, Prem, make your own way to the drowning brand. There we shall reconvene before sailing forth once more into the void. Okay. On to the moon we go. Right on top of Torga, of course. Mm. Where's the... Ah, there they are. Time to take the fight to the enemy, is it? The darkness has been utterly relentless, annoying at the seal like I might an iron carrot. Strike fast and hard, because you won't get another chance. As a precaution, we further enhance the combat supporters. You don't need to worry about you, us while you're away. I should maintain, maintain my witcher over the brands. Brazy, the doubt are ready to depart as soon as Rita and the others have assembled. May the light shine the way to victory and deliver you all safely home. Back to the Void Realm once more into the 13th, I guess. Also, we actually should be uh, about to do the Cobbles fight. Before that, I actually go to a training dummy and actually check if my muscle memory for my skills and everything is still working fine or not. <laughs> because I don't want to get into like a boss fight without like checking that first. It only could like cause troubles for like the, the other players. <laughs> the dark pile over the crater has configured. And on the other side lies Gorbis's domain. We have altered the terrain to Inders. I don't sense his presence, but I wager he is in the crater. It would be ideal if he were a Shahari in place transmitters. Once they are activated, our cross rift of fear current will be established and light will flow free from the first, in theory at least. It will work, it must. Mm, pretty good. is in readiness without further ado then light from beyond the rift shine forth and banish the darkness excellent the tower is replete with light from the bath arain Commencing transmission! Let's see how well this one works out. Oh, this looks cool.
this light illuminate your way? How does it actually work that like the people in the first actually can monitor this process? <laughs> All right. You can do it, Zero. I believe in you. I guess just like hijacking your function of the crystal tower. Waste no time and sally forth. Alas, I fear the breach may be too narrow for you, Vritra. For a blessing, I prepared my simulacrum for such an eventuality. My true form shall stand guard here while we explore the chasm. Sweet. It is faint, but I sense the presence of a dragon. No doubt my sister's essence trapped within Zeromus. Not where she was held captive before, but somewhere much deeper. The descent will not be so easy this time. The chasm swarms with void scent. Of course it does. It looks like it would actually be a dungeon before the boss fight, I guess. Summoned by Golbez, perhaps, or born of the residual darkness. However they came to be, we shall cut a path through them. Is everyone ready? Zero? That light should shine in the void once more. No single one of us could have made it so. Only by joining hands were we able to kindle this light. Do you see, Golbez? We needn't damn others to save ourselves. You knew this once, surely. When you tried to befriend me. When you were one of the precious few left willing to trust in another. But that man is gone. And in his place, a mockery of his beliefs. <gasps> oh, a flashback. It's the same as before. Though we walk different paths, we seek the same destination. And yet... There is something I must know. A truth that lies waiting in the dark. Are ready to go now or not? <laughs> I 
Rest assured, I will not let my emotions overwhelm me. When the moment comes, I will call to my sister and will rest her free from Cyramus. The crater awaits. Woe betide any who bar our path. Okay. Is this actually dungeon? Mm. Yeah, okay. I actually will think I will actually do this with a trust party then, just so I can like without running into issues just casually try to get my muscle memory back. But before we jump into the dungeon, I will do another short break, especially toilet break, so be right back. And I'm back. Good. Let's actually head on our way to this dungeon. But for that, uh, actually, um, I want to play with my scholar. Thank you. And just double check what my skills for again. Mm -hmm. If a flower light. Okay, mm that was that. HP, okay. Right, that was sad. Okay. Let's see if this will go smoothly with MCC characters. I'm just gonna just like help me test out if my muscle memory is still fine or what. Okay. Just wanted to double check that. Okay. 
Okay, the NPC is a bit suboptimal in that they like to a lot less DPS than actual players would do, but hey. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Not really, yeah. Here, gonna bring a shield. It looks like I didn't really lose out on much mass memory, like using skills and such actually is still working. Mm, I see fine. Maybe you see that my muscle memory is not portraying me as much as I thought it would. Because those means I like should be fine doing the boss normally with other players then. That shouldn't be an issue.
I just gotta pay attention for like what Kang's supposed to do. So far, nothing that hard when it comes to mechanics. Just really did like one mistake on this fight. <laughs> I don't know that was fine. When it's got a memoria crystal and it suddenly begins to glow. Okay. Oh! Interesting. Hurry, Golbez! The city is already overrun! Oh, we get to see, uh, like, Gorbis's past. That's cool. Similar as they did with Emmett Selk. First the villages and now the capital. Nothing is exempt from their avarice. Damage ability is not hurting the healing game disease, of course. Out of my way.
Of course, like, dead, but it's, uh, as always, nothing exciting. <laughs> what a. More, more worlds. Oh, yeah, you're not fighting, it's just like in the background. The beam of I was like fighting against beamers, not gonna lie. Just died. Very easy to use just to get resources. Don't have to fight these. Okay. And we are up against an anti lion. Alright. I didn't pay attention to the pillow. <laughs> I am of the first Darkness take you all or nothing.
So. It's weird way how they do not attack when they're like doing the stack mechanics and everything. They usually could just keep attacking while right? uh, but hey. That they command such terrible beasts bodes ill. We've no time to lose. Such destruction. If only we had to turn sooner. I'm sure why you put this like as a zigger in here, but I. Out of my way! Okay, we do it here. One more right of darkness. Alright. Why do they keep sending you the black wind? Come on, guys. I dare say we'll be faster if we split up. Okay. I'm not sure to go. Was the grenade extra so loaded? They're focusing on that one. Alright. Looks like this will be the last rush mob fight. Out 
I was done with this trash bag as well. I wish I just first played with no players because this is what then this would have like gone a lot faster. <laughs> Playing with other players is actually quite faster of going for dungeons at least. But hey. I just wanted to save from environment for me to probably get through my skill sets and everything. So this is what happened to Wobbles. This can't be happening. Not to you. My friend. My hero. I will stop you even should it cost me my life. Nice for you to see five better music. <laughs> so be it. I will fight you with all my strength. Just on the other to fortify my blade. I need power, light or dark, it matters not. What do these orbs do? Just explode, okay.
Seven Kennick. Red so far. You've weathered this before. Let's see how you fare now. You underestimate me. No mercy. again. Okay. I really need to take you during this. And just sort of catched up to him. It's weird. Why are you showing his face? I oh, mean. You would not wish to become a monster, 
preying upon those who fought to protect. But neither can I bring myself to kill you. So it means to say he took on Gobbles' role. I swear. Hmm. Through me, your name shall live on as the hero who saves the world. This is the one which put us through this. All right. Interesting. We've been released from the memory, to it seem. If Golbez was the one sealed in this memoria, then the one we've been fighting is... No more than an imposter playing at hero. Fitting, Andrew. Durante, I presume. A name long since lost to time. History shall remember only Golbez. Come what may, I shall deliver the world its salvation, and I will not suffer you to interfere. You seek to free all souls from the purgatory of undeath. And to that end, you would invade another world. While I cannot condone your methods, I understand your motive full well. For I'm driven by the same. I too wish to save our world. I too once thought I had to bear the burden by myself. That I had no choice but to walk my path alone. But I was wrong. We may yet strive together towards our shared goal. If you would reconsider your course. I'd hope you will though. Uh, 
If you possessed power which transcended that of Zeromus, then perhaps I would. Oh, we do. <laughs> but you do not. No, you are but another Voitsant like me. And what is a candle before the sun? Perhaps we aren't all powerful and cannot affect great change in an instant. Even so. Great change is what we need. Aught less has no meaning. Having glimpsed our past, you should understand as well as any. As Golbez, I dedicated myself to ending the Contra Memoria. I fought the corrupted Memoriates and attempted to redeem those twisted by their power. Yet try as I might, I was powerless to make any meaningful change. It was then, when I was floundering in despair, that she appeared. The Asian Igeom. And that was the biggest mistake to uh, um, trust one of the Asians. <laughs> Claiming to know how to excise the source of our woes, she showed me to the moon where the servant of light abided. Twas he and his ilk who had granted men unnatural powers, she said, and now prolonged the war. Believing her every word, I struck him down and caused darkness to engulf the world. Mm -hmm. That was too good of you. Then it was you who... As Emmett Selk once told us, the 13th was the Asian's first attempt at a rejoining, before they fully understood the mechanisms at play. They failed because they sought only to awaken the Sundered Zodiac without instigating a calamity in the Source. The darkness they unleashed had nowhere else to go. Having left a ruin of our world, the Asian fled. I was a fool to trust them, to trust in others. Since that day, I have sought the means to undo my mistake. The world may be beyond saving, but I would at least restore the great flow. The dragon was an extraordinary windfall, a veritable font of ether that expedited my endeavors time and again. But it wasn't enough to achieve my objective. Far from it. For an eternity, I had to bide my time. But the day finally came when I acquired the power I sought. I, the remnants of the Asian's god sealed within the moon, suddenly dispersed into ether. With that ether, Zeromus could be conceived. And driven by the dragon's longing for home, it shall soon arise to destroy the barrier between worlds. Thus will the way open to the promised land and the death we have been too long denied. Thus no, we doom I, another world. Golbez, bring salvation to all.
So that is all you have left. Say what you will. You cannot stop Seromus's awakening. Going after him, aren't we? Well, of course we are. Aye. That's why we came, after all. And besides... When someone believes in you, it makes you want to believe in them. In others and yourself. Eulis was right about that. Of course, we have no more actions. Uh, I'm gonna take care of that so that my company actually has actions. If I can actually still have the permissions to buy stuff. Um, door shot. Wait, here we're with the master arm. <laughs> I don't want to check if it's actually writing anything. The extra like people in the guild online who could do that, but I guess they are not uh, paying attention. Actually, they might. Mm. Actually, I'm not gonna do anything about it. It could actually be that they're like saving some other uh, buffs later because they like want to do raids. So I shouldn't like interfere with that. Just remembering that I like usually doing rains or uh, on Saturdays. I just haven't been actively raiding with them for a while. <laughs> Obviously due to my break, but yeah. I have to say, the red is actually quite blinding. <laughs> actually, it looks like less blind. It's probably because of uh, reshade, because it's like actually a bit like amplifying it. Dark recesses of the moon await Gorbis and Ceremos. They are resolved to save the world and condemn yours. I prepare to brave the dark. Of course we are. I had 
hoped to bear witness to the moment our salvation is realized. But nothing must be left to chance. I will stop you here, no matter the cost. And we won't let you. Archfiends live? Impossible. Scarmiglione and Barbariccia were sealed in memoria, while Cagnazzo and Rubicante died in the source. It is so uh, uh, salty. You're not wrong. They are not the true Archfiends, but shades born of their residual ether. If they are shades, then their strength will pale in comparison. Even should they fight as one, we may yet prevail. <laughs> nice. What are you having for dinner? We'll tend to the Archfiends. Go and put an end to Zeromus. You'll do no such thing. <laughs> right progress being okay. Right progress nice though. Go! We'll join you as soon as we can. Here we go for a leap of faith, of course. It is too late. Zeromus will awaken, and it shall devour any who come between it and its desire. Your companion is no exception. That's what you think. I wouldn't be so sure. Time and again, she has faced insurmountable odds. How hopeless things seemed. She's never given up the fight. Oh, come on, every one of those gets their words in. So long as she has strength of will to forge on, then so too shall we. For we believe in her, and she believes in us. And together, our light can pierce blackest darkness.
I kind of actually want to see a proper face-off between Zero and Golbers. She would deserve that. What is this darkness? Cold and all-consuming. Where am I? It's also speaking in like the uh, language of Dragons, I think. So it's probably more um, Ashtaya than Siremus. I must return to my rule, to my home, where my kin await. Yep, that's probably Ashtaya speaking. Yes, I must return. I return and none shall stand in my way. Razor Staya. That's who we are here for. Ooh, I like the music. Then we actually have to wait for the full play this before the actual fight. Um. Hey, okay. episode fracture, let's go. Let's see how long it would take for the final party. Oh, that's anything expected. Okay.
There's no HP as you agrees. Alright. I expected that he would die. Uh, he didn't put it terrible far enough. <laughs> Let's go. Huh, let's see. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a wipe. I should get a rest. I should have still have vulnerability, but okay. I understand now what his attack is. Okay, but I do so uh, understand how it works.
Why is the Black Mage not taking his rest? This is a mean attack if you haven't seen it before, I'm not gonna lie. Who likes to do stack markers? Especially after a big huge trick. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, I see you already meant with heads up. <laughs> okay, that because of the other way, uh, immediately. Wait, that was a cool fight. I like that one. Oh, come on, shut up, see Ramos. Nice entry of a Sinian. I was actually having us. Like all void scent, Seromas cannot be killed. Sealing it in memoria is the only way. Of course, the Echo is coming in now of all times. <laughs> it always finds the worst times, to be honest. <sighs> uh, that it 
should come to this. I failed, my dear friend. Fell for the Asian's ploy and unleashed the darkness. And after an eternity of waiting, I find myself on my knees. It's actually just showing us what how they'll find it up. Okay. How disappointed must you be in me, in the foolishness and futility of it all? No, I will not let it be for naught. I will not allow you to pass. I will triumph in my crusade. There is no triumph to be found in this madness. Even if the veil were to be unraveled, it would not undo what darkness has done to the world. Nor would it bring Golbez back. From his slumber, you know there is no return. You're weak and imperfect. You know it in your heart. In spite of this, do you truly believe that you can save everyone? I'm no better. Weak and imperfect and plagued by doubt. Which is why I need friends to walk beside me. Light, <laughs> but how? This is proof that I believe in others, and they in turn believe in me. A light that illuminates the way in darkest despair. Be it in a ruined city locked in ice, or a world drowning in light, it was with faith in one another that life endured. I see it clearly now. You think we are capable of the same? Maybe. It won't put your minds to it. Having lived too long as Void Scent, we've forgotten how to trust. But one thing is certain. If Zeromus succeeds and everyone dies, we'll never have the chance to try. You asked me to join hands with you once, and I refused. I cannot take back that mistake. But I can extend to you the same offer. We can be better than we have been. Dude, you're doing too much similar the way I expected, but hey. in our quest to end the Contra Memoria. But you rejected us outright. It left both of us discouraged. Golbez most of all. 
If we could but overcome the fear that has shaped and divided us, we could change everything. Even in the midst of that terrible war, he never stopped believing in others. Not even at the end. You're Golbez now. If you would live up to his name, then you must trust in people as he did. She's right about it. If he truly wants to be, like, wants Golbez to be remembered in the right way. I cannot forgive what you have done to my sister, but she may yet be saved. If you can help us see her safely home and protect the source, then... As Zero's friends, we should gladly share what knowledge we have to help you restore the Void. You truly believe the world of old can be ours again? I do, so long as we work together. Ah, that's weird. Disperse Zeromus's essence once more. The instant we do, you must call to Ajdaya. Understood. So we'll be fine. I hope at least. yourself look to the light within your place isn't alone in the dark zero not anymore Looks to relax the words and have the old warrior flight now. 
You can do it, Zero. This power from beyond the rift, I can do it. I can save everyone. Oh, she gets a class change. A paladin. Interesting. Golbez, if you would make amends, then lend me your strength. Your turn, Mitra. Hear my voice and return to me. Zeromus makes to resurrect. Sorry, got interrupted there for a moment. It's not if I have anything to say about it. You're safe now, Ashdaya. You're safe. Even though she's kind of just a wisp of light now, or probably more evil. But okay. To my sister, I shall offer up the eye in this vessel. We dragons bring forth progeny with our very life force. That which my eye harbors should be enough to grant her corporeal form. Of course, this means I shall no longer have control over this vessel. I must ask you escort Ajdaya to the surface in my stead. <laughs> we came to bring her home, and we'll do just that. You have my word. Especially Kua coming from Westinian, considering his history of dragons. Thank you. Shall be together again. Oh, 
Oh, a small baby dragon. Cute. Where are you going? Our world may yet be restored. I thought it an impossible dream once, but having witnessed your miracles, I cannot help but believe. Nevertheless, I am the villain who wrought this tragedy. And in my misguided crusade, I compounded my sins. My place is not at your side. <laughs> Regardless of how you may feel, by lending me your strength, you've made amends. You've earned a new beginning. It's up to you what we become to one another. And I feel like there's still more amends to do at the side of Zero. What we couldn't do yesterday, we might still do today. Working together. And should we want for strength, we need only rally more like-minded souls to our cause. So let's take the first step. The two of us. Yay! No, just like to, to figuring out how to actually like clear up this mess. <laughs> Maybe flooding with a bit of light even might help. Never did I imagine that the light I bore could bring about such a change. As our domains are shaped by our innermost desires, perhaps this is a reflection of the hope that had quickened in my heart. We came to the 13th to rescue our diner and protect your world. Our meeting was happenstance, and our association one of mutual convenience. Yet you and yours always treated me with kindness, as a friend. And through your friendship, I found a new beginning. I'm forever in your debt. Ah. And hello, Rita. <laughs> Words cannot well express my relief that we could rescue my sister, nor my gratitude to all of you. What of him, Gomez? He felt it would be inappropriate for him to be present at your reunion with Ajdaya, and chose to remain down in the chasm. 
If you wish to hear an apology, however, I should be glad to drag him here. <laughs> So, what will you do now? I've learned much, journeying together with you. Experienced things I could never have experienced alone. Together with Golbez, I hope to do the same as we labor to restore the 13th. Then I suppose it's farewell for now. Be sure to share with Golbez what you've learned of the source and its reflections, as well as the true nature of light and dark. He is as resourceful as he is determined, and will surely make the very most of the insights. Indeed. Once we've gained a better understanding of the situation, I hope we can rely on your counsel. Well, when it comes to murders of like the royals and their shahs, we are probably like <laughs> the best ones to ask, not gonna lie. But of course, I too shall continue probing new possibilities, the better to be of aid when the time comes. Ah, speaking of which. What's your shot now? From ocean rise and cloud bank form, from mountain spring and rainfall storm, from river flow and life be born. Come forth, my servant. <laughs> I revised the incantation, which is not to say you know how it went before. <laughs> uh, she's still embarrassed about it. Are we clear? <laughs> I like good one. Provided me with spare warding scales, which apparently provide greater protection than before. This should keep the familiar safe. So long as you give the Nixie ether from time to time, it will persist and serve as a beacon for us to find you. It's Already cute. We find ourselves with a new ally. Thank you. <laughs> it's just a weird bubble thingy, but it's kind of pretty cute. <laughs> when you have the chance, please thank everyone for me. Those in Razatan, Garlemald, Charlien. The first and on the moon. A lengthy list. Hey there. I'm doing fine. What about you? A gift for Reen. In return for the light she helped me harness. It's the memoria holding Zeromus. If used to augment darkness in the first... It may help to create balance between our worlds. Hmm. An excellent idea. Yep. Actually, really not that stupid. As long as we can, like, keep 
the serum is contained. <laughs> Similarly, why not entrust the Archfiend's Memoria to Zero? Well, you should say you're my Archfiend's Memoria, but I'm telling you what I can't say. In that case, I shall pass them on to Golbez to inspire and admonish him in equal measure. Yeah, I hear that a lot. Don't come in my chat trying to advertise something, okay? The very inf is in good hands. Come what may, we will see it restored. And should we need a helping hand, I hope we can count on you once more. I suggest that uh, don't advertise your stuff. I'm wondering, will the void gate stay open for now or not? No matter where we are or how much time passes, our bond will endure. This I believe. It's not like autographs, except the thing just comes now. Uh, looks like it will stay open for now. Welcome back, everyone. Why were a rent in the fabric of reality it suddenly appeared? There were through it, we could observe you locked in furious battle with Serumus. Ah, oh, they actually watched us. By the time it closed out, we had seen your victory. Well done, by the way. But we still couldn't breathe easy until we knew for certain you were safe and sound. And here you are. Thank heavens. They hope Ashtaya is safe too? And Zero? In a world, yes. Though we could not return Ashtaya to her original form, we are going to turn a new vessel using one of his eyes. Her circumstances are unique, but it nevertheless gives me hope that there may be a way to save other voids end. As for Zero, she has chosen to remain in our world and do what she can to restore it. Ah, so the light of hope shines again amidst the darkness. Perhaps our research into environments capable of supporting life would be of use in the 13th. Probably, yes. Also in the 1st, to be honest. Oh, now there's a fort. 
A day may come when the people of the source in the 13th were hand in hand in anticipation of they must accumulate even more useful technology. Uh, but let us detain you with our cavalry kits or brilliant ideas. We will see the gate is closed and the seal deactivated. So go home and get some rest. The link to the seal, Orange. As thou dost command, break convey our gratitude to the watcher for his timely assistance. It would seem which was preparing to depart. Come, let us descend to the Tower of Babel. Upon arriving, Gallimard would be. It would be me to inform Julius of our mission's outcome. Let us seek him out at Tertium. Let's do that. It's you again. Is everything all right? Yep, it is. For now, at least. So you were able to rescue Ashdaya. Thank the Twelve. Channeling light from the first was rather ingenious. It may fall short of cross rift travel, but it's still an impressive achievement in my book. I will say one step towards that goal, to be honest. You're too kind. Suffice it to say, though, that I don't intend to rest on these laurels. There's always more to be done. Zero stayed in the void, did she? Well, if I had known it would come to that, I would have said a proper farewell. Serious answer, thanks. Thanks for what? I don't recall doing anything in particular for her. On the contrary, she's the one who risked life and limb. Still, I'm glad that she got something out of her time here. As the days roll on, things will change for the both of us. But some things will remain as they are. As far as I'm concerned, Zero will always be a friend and comrade. And I will never forget her. If she's working tirelessly to restore the 13th, it wouldn't do to be outdone here. When next Zero visits, we must see to it that you have a shiny new gala mold to show her. <laughs> now it's become a race. Indeed. And speaking of rebuilding, there's a matter I'd like to discuss with you and Alfino. Word has spread of our dealings with Razat Han, and people are excited by the prospect of standing on our own two feet again. Naturally, it won't be straightforward. It never is. But on the whole, I have a good feeling about things. In other words, it may be time for us to limit our involvement, that Garleans might take the lead. I can see the sense in that. No, no, that's not what I meant at all. <laughs> Seeing as things are going well, we want you to take a rest. A proper rest. That's what I wanted to say on everyone's behalf. 
<laughs> You've done so much for us already. Toiled beside us in the cold for far longer than anyone could ask. You've earned a reprieve a hundred times over. So go on. Step away from here and head wherever you like. But if it were me, I'd choose somewhere warm. Well, we will go to... At least from the looks of the trail uh, to some more tropical lands further down the line in Palm Trail, so... I'm already, like, really excited for Dawn Trail, to be honest. I, I was thinking of taking a break anyway. Far be it from us to go against such a heartfelt request. Though I would be lying were I to say matters here wouldn't weigh on our minds. We could take a leaf out of Zero's book and roam about for a while. Maybe visit nations who share little history with Garlemald. Look for opportunities to foster future relations. We might learn something of recent foreign affairs that has escaped our notice. Hmm. As an independent party, we would be well suited to the task. An excellent idea, Alizé. Well, that hardly sounds like a rest at all. <laughs> <clears throat> to us, it is the best kind of rest. Stimulating and meaningful. If it's settled, then let's return to Charlian and consider our options. What about the rest of you? Do you have any plans? There already has new adventures, I guess. We're indebted to Lord Fortuno and his colleagues for their cooperation. It would be neat to report on the outcome of our mission. Then it seems we are all bound for Charlian. Upon arriving, let us seek out Athelise at the Rostra and have her notify father. Oh, uh, again, a nice usage of like the end uh, end book of theme there. Quite fitting, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I also have to go to the other right first. Although I should do, I haven't checked my retainers in a while. It might be smart to actually do this while we're here. Where do the prices look here? I think I can for now at least even inventories. Just gonna let him do some stuff first here. Well, 
Wait, aren't you the science of the Seven Dome? Over, uh, over, Raphra? I understand you've disbanded. Yep, we did. An audience with Lord Fortuno. You're in luck. The forum has just this moment adjourned, and he's still inside with the scholar. Please wait here while I inform them of your presence. Apologies to have kept you. I trust you won't object a scholar monitoring also attends. My incorrigible children, we're not assisting of Garlemald's reconstruction. Our host removes insistent that we take a rest, so here we are. But more importantly, Tamo has news that she would share with you. So the threat has passed. These are glad tidings indeed. Harnessing life from the first, a technological triumph that could have ended in a catastrophic failure. <laughs> it could have. <laughs> but that was thrill on hypotheticals. Like the evil from the Isles of Harm, you employ the light for peaceful, albeit unanticipated purposes. Not just is to serve the greater good, as my father was fond of saying. I'm inclined to agree in this instance. It's been established that wilderness crises in the reflections are connected to calamities in the source. As such, the strides you made in understanding the nature of and effecting a change in the reflection may one day prove vital for mankind's preservation. The forum will be eager to review your accounts thoroughly, for every drop of water serves to swell the greater river of knowledge. <laughs> of course, they're looking at Shishtola. Would it be upon you to prepare a comprehensive report, Ishtala, on the subject of the world and the cross rift travel both? It would be my pleasure. We will share these tidings with those who aided you. Coco, Dunkel, not least of all. Now, if you excuse us, we must be on our way. I should be glad to speak with you both later. Okay. Growing light. The final quest of like this part of the main story. With that, our applications here are concluded. Onidana, what's the news from Tafne? They've returned them. Wonderful. The rest assured all is well with us too. Is it so? We would be honored, of course. I shall relay this to the others. A great feast will be held in Rasat Han to celebrate Ashtaya's homecoming. We've all been invited. Party! I'm afraid my sister must and I must decline. They've only just returned home. To leave again so soon would be inconsiderate to our parents. I regret I too must excuse myself from attendance. A prior commitment requires that I remain in Charlian for a time. Let not our absence deter you, however. Pray enjoy yourselves to the fullest. I have no plans in particular, so you can count me in. I may as well visit the Radiant Host while I'm there. How about you, Tamamo? <laughs> I have a duty to make to the first. Even though I also like the first answer. Oh, of course, the memorial crystal. It would be remiss of us not to deliver it promptly to our friends. Also, if they are to transfer light and dark between worlds, they will need command over the crystal tower. In which case, I should give you my spirit vessel to take again. When you arrive in the crystallium, the sentry at the tower should be able to round up everyone for you.
Once you've seen two matters to come join us at Mega Megaduda. Give everyone our regards, you. Back to the first, it is. Just jumping a lot of players, like it's nothing. already shared what they glimpsed in the source. The day is won, and the danger past. Hearing the tidings lifted a great weight from my shoulders. Never before had I taken on such a monumental request. Yeah, so first for everything. Small though it was, we are glad to have played a role in saving the Exarch's home. And yours. Furthermore, the endeavor served to reaffirm the bond between the peoples of Norvrant. Nurturing this bond, we will strive to be an example for the world Zero aspires to restore. Memoria crystal. I can feel it. The tremendous darkness within. Using darkness from the void to restore balance to this world. If such a thing could be done. Well, well. Though night has returned to our world, darkness cannot arise of its own accord much less in abundance but if it could be brought here in like manner to how we channeled light to the void it may well be possible to restore the empty in its entirety bring back the balance Do you still have that spirit vessel with you? If so, I beg you loan it to me for a time. I would use it to investigate a way to have the tower receive rather than send energy. Or maybe even like do a two-way thing. They send light over to there and pull darkness over to here. And have this like be like a constant connection for the time being. Thank you. I shall commence my work at once in concert with Umu Kalhai and rigorously explore the possibility. I too need to explore new possibilities for my powers. My recent experience at Navatha Rang has taught me that. To that end, I will set aside botany for a time and focus instead on myself. Knowing Zero is out there, doing her utmost to restore her own world, it inspires me to redouble my efforts. Mm, I already can smell dinner. <laughs> Well, it's not taking this cutscene's not taking that long, but because once that's done, I will also be ending the stream here. 
Make sure to go, go for a test to see if actually like streaming Final Fantasy XIV works without issues. It does. I waited Ooh. and waited, but you never came. What have you been doing here? Gaia's back. Gaia. Oh. Hey there. <laughs> Do I know you? In this interior, you've lost your memory again. Oh, I'm just teasing. I wouldn't forget you in a hurry. <laughs> I'm still keeping my diary, adding new memories to it every day. Not only that. Gaia's writing a story, too. I can't wait for it to become a book. Enough about that. What were you talking about? Harnessing darkness from the void. Now there's an idea. Of course, if you're dealing with darkness, Lorena alone won't cut it. Next time, call on me as well, all right? <laughs> Will do. It was a mighty struggle, but I had faith that you would be victorious in the end. And I doubt not that the people of Northland would cheer when they learned that the world of darkness managed to save her home. I know you're pretty moment, so don't let us keep you. Rest assured that we'll continue the work we've begun. Skyrim and Zuna, you honor us with your presence. To I am but a humble servant, I offer you my heartfelt thanks for rescuing the sad rob beloved sister. But without further ado, the greatest feast to celebrate this joyous occasion is about to begin. The venue is Marriott's Mayhane, and you are a guest of honor. Of course we are. <laughs> we always are the guest of honor. <laughs> What's wrong with him now? <laughs> oh, Vashan, my darling little brother. <laughs> to think <laughs> I will never see you again. You do know that Vashan is Reetra. Come on. The way you carry on, anyone would think he was actually your brother. <laughs> Save your tears now. His Excellency still has one of his eyes, and he has made it clear he intends to continue using his vessel. You'll see Varshan again. Never fear. Truly. But will it be the little one? <laughs> Come on. Personally, I prefer the adult vessel. It cuts a gallant figure and his superior functionality besides. Bah. I don't care about such things. My little brother is 
Little and adorable. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Sisters, give me strength. It is a fine thing being so loved. <laughs> they are out cold, as it looks like. Had enough of the revelry, if you. So. What's next for our hero? No need to decide just yet. You'll recall our escapades in the void began with a treasure map I paid entirely too much guilt for. <laughs> True, that was a thing. You can't force an adventure. It'll happen when it happens. You'll know when the time is right. <laughs> that all depends on the developers. Till then, it's good to lend an ear to others and their tales. And speaking of others... Discussing each other's plans, are we? Alas, I have nothing exciting to share. I foresee an extended confinement in my Charlian chambers, compiling my theories on cross-rift travel. My research may be classified, prohibited by the powers that be, but so long as a bond exists between people, ever shall our worlds be connected. As it stands, a means to travel to the first is within reach, and I would be satisfied even should my research not exist in an official capacity. You all know it still does. And what of you, Estinian? Have you any plans? <laughs> Already gone. <laughs> he never was one to stay put for long, though I've no doubt he will make himself known when needed. I'm so happy for those two. This was like peace was not, and it's impressed upon me once again how dear Vitra is to his people. Well, as such as I should like to linger, this past time I took my leave. If me to depart as well, I suggest you call Vitra before setting out. And before I forget, thank you for everything we learned and for everything we've accomplished. I couldn't be more grateful. Till next time, take care. Okay, let's finish up the quest and after that the stream. And there will still be a lot more for me to catch up on, so you can expect more uh, Final Fantasy XIV streams of me, especially once Dawn Dre comes out. Especially then. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the festivities to be able to celebrate the Shire's return with everyone was moving beyond worlds. As you wonder, I have chosen to use this vessel for now, the better to escort my sister abroad while set home. This leaves my true form for an eye, but I do not anticipate having need of it in the immediate future. Long have I dreamed of showing Ashtaya my beautiful city, a glittering jewel born of unity, I shall relish every moment of it. Now then, I believe both Ishtar and Estonian have embarked on their respective journeys, but have you reserved business elsewhere? 
If not, you're welcome to remain here as long as you like. Should all of important arrives, we will inform you. But until such a day arrives, I bid you take your ease. Hey! There's one more cutscene, I guess. Meanwhile, an old Charlie. Everything appears to be in order. Of course, they're showing cry. Oh, oh, finished at last. So time consuming. How nice would it be to have a manet to handle such tasks? Now then, let's have a look at you. Oh yeah, they have teased this letter earlier in... Quite old, this letter. Early we'll story patches. store it carefully. Addressed to Grandfather, and come all the way from Tuli Yolo, from a Gulu... someone. Oh, the ink's too faded. Hardly anything is legible. Come on, give me something. No. Oh. A commission to investigate the Golden City in Tural. How odd. No one ever mentioned such a commission, nor have I seen any records. Hmm. Something else in here. Unusual earring. How does it relate to the petition, I wonder? Oh, did you go there, Grandfather? To the Golden City in Tural? Okay, this will be set this is set up for on trail already. <sighs> Back again already after making a show of leaving. <laughs> Well, this is it, Charlene. Quite a far cry from Tuliolo, yes? They're hiding the fever, Rothgar. <laughs> Come, let's go and find your candidate, our adventure friend. Okay, you've done this part. There's actually one more since I've been like missing two patches or anything. But as I said, we will continue with this next time. And with that, as I've already announced, I will be ending the stream here. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you would like to watch me do more of Final Fantasy XIV, be it more story, be it some raids and other side content. But with that for now, I'm hungry. Dinners are already ready. <laughs> and I hope I will be seeing you again next time. And then. Oh, wait. I'm forgetting I'm on Twitch. That means I also should raise someone. <laughs> it's like confusing because, like, um, YouTube doesn't have like, a raise feature yet. Um...
we can raid Yuma again with in her supper form, so let's do that. Giving him um, more support. So yeah, let's do that. Do please keep in mind, she is a German streamer, but she also like can understand and speak English, so that's fine in that part. But it's but again now uh, for the outro. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I will see you again next time. Do be nice in the raid. And then and bye bye.